Over the last couple of years, the Mac has exploded to a new level of popularity. And with the introduction of Apple Silicon, it has taken yet another leap. This year at Apple's WWDC, they've introduced a new operating system that's going to continue pushing the Mac even further, macOS Ventura. Here are my top five features announced this year at WWDC. This year, Apple has updated Spotlight to be more powerful and consistent than before. Now you're able to take a peek at search results and quick look by tapping the spacebar. You can also search for images in your photo library, across your system, or on the web. And with live text, you can even search text inside of an image as well. This year, you can get even more information with Spotlight on screen since it now uses the full window. When searching for musicians, you can get information on albums, key facts, latest news, and much more. This also works with movies, TV shows, actors, businesses, sports, and much more. With macOS Ventura, Apple claims that Safari is not only the world's fastest browser, but the most efficient one as well. And now they're trying to make the web a safer place with passkeys. Passkeys uses powerful cryptographic techniques and biometrics built into your device to keep accounts safe, essentially replacing the needs for passwords, removing the possibility of being fished, or having your passwords leaked. Apple has also worked with industry leaders in the FIDO Alliance to make passkeys work cross-platform. Just a few ways Apple continues to improve the experience you have on Safari. Just like in iMessage, Apple has added key features to improve the mail app. Starting off with undo send, which lets you pull back an email a few moments after sending it. Then there's the ability to schedule an email to be sent out at a specific time with schedule send. They've also added follow-up suggestions, which will automatically remind you to follow up with an email you haven't received a response from. And remind me, which you can use to set a reminder to come back to an email at a later date and time. Apple has also given search in the mail app its biggest overhaul in years to deliver more accurate and complete results. When you click search, recently shared documents, links, and more will come up. Once you start typing in search, you will begin to see suggestions pop up. And if you have a typo, like I frequently do, search will only show results with the correct spelling. Also, if search knows the synonym, it will look that up as well. With just a couple of updates, Apple has not only improved the mail app, but made it more powerful and seamless to use. A brand new feature coming to macOS Ventura this year is Stage Manager, which is here to help you be productive and creative. Not only does Stage Manager keep all your windows organized, but it also gives you quick access to them as well. Unlike Mission Control, which just helps you find the window you're looking for while having several windows open and spread out on your display, Stage Manager automatically arranges all your windows off to the side while bringing the app you're currently working on front and center. You're able to cycle through different apps by clicking on the window off to the side and it will replace the app you currently have on stage. You can have multiple windows on stage or to the side of the stage as well. Stage Manager will help you stay organized and productive while you use your Mac. Continuity is about giving you a seamless experience across devices and this year Apple has extended handoff to FaceTime. You can now be on a FaceTime call on your iPhone and hand it off to your Mac seamlessly. This feature also works on the iPad as well and works in any direction iPhone to iPad or iPad to iPhone. Another great feature added this year is Continuity Camera, which allows you to use your iPhone as the web camera for your Mac, all powered by the device capabilities on the iPhone camera system. Using a third-party stand, you can place your iPhone on top of the Mac's display and launch FaceTime. Your Mac will automatically detect your iPhone and use its camera, all done wirelessly. Another great feature of Continuity Camera is Desk View, which also uses the ultra wide camera on the iPhone to give you two views at the same time. A top down shot of a desk while keeping you in the picture as well. I can't wait to try out this feature later on to let you guys know if this is a good feature or if it's more of a deal. Either way, Continuity continues to improve the Apple ecosystem by allowing for an even more seamless experience between Apple devices. This year, Apple has added powerful features to macOS Ventura that continue to push the envelope. Stay tuned for a follow-up review later this fall. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified of when the next video drops, and until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one.